Oh, I laughed just like that since now. He kept the allies close. Allies are close. Allies. All eyes on this thing at the same time. All eyes because allies will fight for you. But the one thing that's been confusing is that I've been confusing friends with allies. You are my friend, but you are not my ally. You are my ally, but you are not my friend. Friends are close because they care about you and they'll pray you through and they want to see you get to where you need to be. They are valuable in ministry, but they're, but they're valid. They're, but they have a validity with them. They are, they are excellent for what they're excellent for. But allies, allies are the ones that you want in an army with you in Mortal Kombat. Now when it comes to getting the word of God about what you should do when you go into battle. Prime example, because I know this is a little confusing. Prime example, picture the, 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 the battle with uh, Saul. Saul's son Jonathan has had an armor bearer. They went up, they climbed up, they fought a whole bunch of men once they got some food because the father the proclaimed the fast, blah blah blah. But in war, right? In war, Saul and Jonathan were allies. But at home, Jonathan was David's friend. So Jonathan defended David, therefore he was not Saul's friend. And Saul even said it to him, he said, You're so stupid because you're protecting the man that's gonna take your throne if I don't stop him. As a result of what Saul or Jonathan's ally did, Jonathan ended up dying. So you have to be very careful who you pick to be your ally. Because you may work well in war together, you may work well in fighting together, you may stand strong with that person, but if that person has no spiritual sight and will not give credence to it, Jonathan died because of Saul's sin. Jonathan did nothing. We ally. Him. One more time, him. I said, oh, ally. Okay. What does that sound like? Really? <laughs> and I ask your question again. What's your response? Oh God, I asked your question again. What's your response? Jesus stood on the shore and he watched them struggle, his friends and his allies together. Judas was in the boat. And Juice was helping them struggle. Can you put your allies and your friends together? Will it produce anything other than a struggle? Could it be that's a part of the reason why they fought so hard uh, in doing simple things? Because I said, you've got there's four men on that boat. Peter, James, John were three men, right? That uh, three of the four that were originally picked as allies. Andrew, for some reason, was he dropped to friend level. Something happened. I told Pastor Randy, I said, what happened with Andrew? He said, some people ask that question. He's like, Jamie, I really don't know. It doesn't say that he did anything wrong. It's just for some strange reason, he was put out of the, uh, the, the, the top four. And because he was put out of it, there was no longer a top four. There was a top three. Re See, see, the three, the top three, we think they were his closest friends. They were not. Peter, who was a church, John, who was love, and then Peter, James, and, and James, 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 James. James was a picture of, the, I believe, Peter was a picture of the, the Gentile church, and James was a picture of the Jewish church. They were both, they really were a picture of the Jewish churches, the Jewish churches, but there were two different sides of them. James was very strict, get it done, do it right, be holy, for I am holy, and I want to hear your problems. Jamie, he was like Jamie, or Jamie was like him. Peter was like, well, <sighs> we are the holy uh, people. This is what we do. Oh, 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 oh. We are holy people. This is what we do. Sometimes we sing a little bit, shout a little bit, pray a little bit, preach a little bit. We're going to be here for a while, so have a seat. Sing a little bit, shout a little bit, pray a little bit, preach a little bit. Yeah, it, it, it just keeps going like that for a while. Sing a little bit, shout a little bit, pray a little bit, preach a little bit. You could sing this song for two days. And I literally went home living with the board. And I went home and they were singing a song into Monday. Sing a little bit, shout a little bit, pray a little bit, preach a little bit. When it's going to become a lot? You've been doing a little bit for a while. When you going to do a lot? Sing a little bit, shout a little bit, pray a little bit, preach a little bit. No, with Peter it remained a little bit. Until he wrote his books. 
until he wrote books that he put his name on. See, Mark Peter did not put his name on. Mark told Peter, uh, Peter told Mark what to write, but he did not put his name on it. So Mark said, fine, I'll put my name on it, right? But, but then, after a while, it became first and second Peter, so Peter started putting his name on stuff. You got two people that represent the church, and John who represents love. Andrew was an apostle. Tell me how Andrew got kicked out. Of the four, the top four. Somehow, somehow he didn't make the cut. <laughs> how does the church make it, make it in with the, 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 the apostleship? The loving of many churches, the ch many churches coming together and being unified that way. I think about CUF. Pastor Randy kind of, you know. Bah, bah, bah. How is it that, that a disease can come in, right, and put a church foundation at this ease? Is it that that church foundation was never meant to stand? I loved it. It was awesome. I went there, me, Takesha, we did poetry. And uh, Cornelius and whoever they chose, a fourth, it was always a different fourth, did rap. They were rap. So you have the two rappers, two poets. And the, the fourth person was always different. So I was looking for the fourth. I was looking to see who the fourth was going to be this year. And then it passed. And then another year passed. Another year passed. I said, where's Andrew? We're supposed to be apostle shipping. Bring it, bring it established churches together or coming together as an established church and building other, um, building other churches or establishing churches. Where is Andrew? Sing a little bit. Shout a little bit. Pray a little bit. Preach a little bit. He make the cut. And so, he's watching him struggle. He's watching him struggle. For a watch. How long was a watch? Four hours. Four hours he watched them. And it was a, I think it was a third, I think it said it was a third watch. So I believe, I believe, I believe it was, from what I remember, I could be wrong, but from what I remember in looking at it, or the second watch, it could have been, I believe it was from three to six, or from six to nine. I'm not sure. It may, more, may have been more six to nine. I believe he was, because I believe he was there from afternoon into dark. Just standing there watching him. Didn't say anything, just standing watching him. And I see the back of his head, and I see him, I'm looking at the back of his head, and I see him, but I'm standing behind him, looking at the back of his head, and he's watching them out on the sea just struggle. Is that a picture of me? Sing a little bit, shout a little bit, pray a little bit, preach a little bit. What if I did it a lot more? You have been doing it a little bit. What if I did a lot more? What if I really enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter into his courts with praise? Father, what if I'm thankful to him and I bless his name? What if I, what if I enter in, I come with a praise on my lips. You got to get there though, Jamie. I got to get in a car and ride with them. Jamie must have close relationships with everybody and that's not the be, right? Luckily, I have a, a friend that's there that I can talk to. She's ally and family. I thought. Could she be my ally? Or my friend? Have I been running from looking at it? God said, look at this thing. And some things will show you where, where you really lie in it. Because the issue with this thing here is that you might lose this person because you are thinking that this person is a friend when an actual ally. You're going to be thinking that they are an ally. We're not actually a friend. They don't like having you around. But at the end of the day, an ally may not really like you. But at the end of the day, they are about your purpose. And they are about your purpose being seen through. They don't, they don't realize it. They don't, they don't understand it. They just, they just want your purpose to be seen and want your purpose to get through. Sometimes you need somebody to click up with you in warfare. In the war. Right? Picture it. You have the king. You have a prophet. And you have his, um, the army. The prophet would be the ally. The army would be, excuse me, the prophet would be the friend. The army would be the ally. By definition, probably completely wrong. And what God is saying right now, if you want to keep friends, if you want to keep your friends, even as kings and queens, know where they belong and keep them there. Do not let your allies in your relationship with your king. Do not let your friends in your relationship with your, your, your queen. scripture that says uh, 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 cast your pearls not before swine that's what God is saying to me right now cast your pearls not before swine because if you cast your pearls before swine they will then turn they will stamp on them stamp right stomp on them trample them underfoot and they will turn and rend you 
Not only will I stomp on your pearls, but I will turn and punch you in the face. For no reason, just because you're there. For funsies. Funsies! What? A pig's idiot? Maybe. I gave you a pearl! I cast it before you, I gave you a pearl freely! I gave it to you! You took it, stomped on it, and then spit in my face and punched me in it. Who's to blame? You! Why are you giving a pearl to a pig? I can see you're not interested in God because of where you sit. We you come to worship. So, why would you give Saul a pearl? He's going to eat it. Chew it up, spit it at you, and then punch you in the face for giving it to him. He will then not appreciate it and punch you straight in the face.